Hello everybody, my name is Perry Winkle and today I'm playing a game. <laughs> um, I'm playing Doki Doki Literature Club. Um, I'm actually really excited. I'm trying to do face cam and if it doesn't work I'm just gonna cut this part out of the intro. I'm trying to do face cam, I don't know how it looks on the camera at all right now, but I'm gonna try to play this. So Doki Doki, let's play. <laughs> I'm so excited, I've never done this before. So it says, hey! Wait. I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air. I did start this, but then I realized, hey, I want to do face cam. Oops, I better put a timer on this, because this can only record about, like, 29 minutes of footage. And I want to make sure I don't play and miss stuff. So I'm going to put timer on there for about, let's go 26, just so I have time to wrap stuff up at the end. I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor, and good friend since we were children. I'm making sure I'm in the camera. I don't know if I'm in the camera. I want to, like, adjust it a bit. There we go. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long? We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently. And I would get tired of waiting up. But she's going to chase me like this, so I almost feel better off running away. However, I just believe that there. I just saw an idol in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. Ha! Ha! I overslept again! But I caught you this time. Maybe only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Eh, uh, you said- Wait, you say that you like- You say that like you were ignoring me. That's mean, Perry. <laughs> My name's Perry in this. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or anything. So I'm either playing a straight male or a lesbian. I'm good with either. Fine, fine, but you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean if you, even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. I feel like I'm voice acting. <laughs> oh, I still like click through two things. We cross the street together and make our way to the school. Wait, history. Okay, I thought I did something. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with students making their daily commute. By the way, Perry, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm really not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Uh, that's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Sarah likes to worry a little too much about me, but I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Instead of anime, that would be supernatural. Uh-huh! I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Same. Your happiness is really important to me, you know? And I know you're happy now, but I'd die at the thought of you becoming a neat, what's a neat, in a few years because you're not used to the real world. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. All right, all right. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? I, so when I click this, I could. Oh, okay. I actually keep like right clicking. Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? She's so cute. More than that, I'm surprised you even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease my, her mind at least a little bit, even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Sarah wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello! Sayori? Sayori must have come to the classroom while spacing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. Me. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you were just sitting here spacing out. So I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement. So I thought, you know, know what? Well, that you could come to my club. Are you the anime club? Sayori? Yeah? There's no way I'm going to your club. Eeeh. Mimi. Sayori's vice president of the literature club. Ooh, I'd actually go to that club. I'm, I'm a nerd. The camera's probably shaking really bad, and I'm so sorry. No, 
Not that I was aware, ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did that because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title Vice President. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed, literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please? Why do you care so much anyway? Well... I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member, and that's to keep my cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sari is really that much of an airhead, or if she's so cunning as to have planned all this out. I let out a long sigh. Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yay! Let's go! And thus today marks the day. Thus today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of school I rarely visit because being generally used for third year class activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings up at the classroom door. Everyone, the new members here. I told you, don't call me a new member. Eh? I glance around the room. Welcome to the literature club. It's pleasing to me. It's a pleasure to meet you. I can't talk. Sayori always says nice things about you. You've got tits. Dang. I am jealous. I also like your eyes. You're like one of those purple-eyed people. <coughs> You're like one of those purple-eyed people that don't have periods. Yeah. Sayori always says nice things about you. Seriously, Irata boy? <sighs> Dang it. I wanted to be a lesbian. Oh. Please don't tell me that messed up the recording. I hope that did not. Way to kill the atmosphere. Ah, oh, Perry, what a nice surprise. Welcome to the Literature Club. I don't know how to do their voices to make them different. I'm gonna make her a little deeper. She has like a nasally kind of thing going on. I feel like she needs to be deep too though. I don't know. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls! I'm just gonna pretend I'm a lesbian and they're all lesbians because that's what I want to do. I gotta fix this. Or like... What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. Sorry. Natsuki. I'm gonna I'm do that. <laughs> the girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is the one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes makes me think she's probably a first year freshman! She's also the one who made the cupcakes, according to Sayori. You could just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori says that quietly, quietly and well. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Into my ear, and then turns back towards the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears more, appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Ah, uh, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it, and it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Perry. Monica smiles sweet. What is that, boss? <laughs> Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so genuinely, genuinely feels like you, you too, Monica. Come sit down, Perry. You made room for you at the table, so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry. Got a little too excited. <laughs> then how about I make some tea as well? Ooh, I like that idea. Peppermint tea? Mm -hmm. We also have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sayori mentioned, it's been widened so that there's one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and, I and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room, where Natsuki grabs a wrap tray and Yuri opens the closet. I can't talk. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Ooh-ah! <laughs> Nani? <coughs> Natsuki lifts the foil tray off to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. Little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make the ears. Oh, I hope it's dark chocolate. So cute! I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry and take one! I like her little, like, teeth. Sayori grabs one first, then Monica and I follow. It's delicious! 
I'll probably eat 40. Sarah already talks with her mouth full and already has managed to get icing on her face. Oh, that's adorable. I turn the cupcake around my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I, can, I can't help but notice your sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? Oh god, it's poisoned. I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Haven't heard, I heard this somewhere before. Made them for you or anything. What, it, what was that quotation? Eh, I thought you technically did. Sayori said, Well, maybe, but not for, for you, you know, dummy. All right, all right. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table, carrying a little tea set. Oh, a little tea set. <laughs> she carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers give us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I guess. I can agree. I like milk, though. Milk is like, even though like it makes you constipated, I love milk. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. That that's not insulted. Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I believe I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be pastime for me, but at least join tea. I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow and smiles at me. You barely have any eyebrows. So what made you consider joining the literature club? Uh, the, the literature club. I can't talk. Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I should tell Malkota that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Sayori, ah! Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay. Don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home here, okay? I have a feeling this camera's, like, not picking up anything. As president of the literature club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. I have a really awkward feeling it's not picking up anything. Oh god. It's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you later at the leader of the debate club last year? Yes, that's my girl! Love debate! Uh, well, you know, to be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for major events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages people to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great leader! Like, head the... Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in, interested in putting out all that effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard and convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow in this club before we, we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best. You know it! Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard to find these three. Maybe that's why they were also delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So, uh, per so Perry, what kinds of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. I mutter quietly to myself, half-joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. <laughs> Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. Same, girl, same! But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements that usually immerse me as, I, as well. If I could talk, that'd be awesome. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. 
Edgar Allan Poe. Ah, oh, I read a horror book once. I desperately grasp something I can relate to at the minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with the rock. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Serial horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Same girl. It's too scary! Oh, why's that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes are over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? Well, I just spit. You left a piece of scrap paper behind at the last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called DON'T SAY IT OUT LOUD! AND GET THAT BACK! Fine, fine. And <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems! Everything you do is just cute as you are! Sarah slides up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute! Natsuki, you write your own poems? Uh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No! Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Uh, not a very confident writer yet? I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open to your, up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities, showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you could set an example for Natsuki, to help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. I guess it's the same for Yuri. Uh, I wanted to read everyone's poems! Oh, that was Natsuki's voice. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay! I have an idea for everyone. I don't know whose voice is whose. Question? Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then, next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Um. Uh, yeah, let's do it! Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Perry? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem. Hey, what's that? Now that we're back on the original topic of me joining the club, I've bluntly come forth with that's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Sarah may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and um, I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare at me, stare blankly at me with dejected eyes. Oh, they're so cute, but, but, I'm sorry. I thought, <laughs> Perry, you all. I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. Yes! I'm so happy! Sarah so wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey, you really did scare me for a moment. Oh my gosh. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. Then that's that makes it official. Welcome to the literature club. Ah, uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Perry, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey, Perry, since we're already done here, do you want to walk home together? That's right, Sayori and I never walk home together anymore because she always stays after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! Oh, nice houses. With that, the two of us depart from the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Oh my gosh, there's barking. Perhaps I have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Alright, I'll just need to make most of my circumstances and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Is there someone outside? Uh, it's time for a poem. Pick the words your favorite club member will like. Something good might happen with the, whoever likes you by most. I like Sayori. Sayori's cool. I don't- a flower? Yay, Sayori likes it! So they jump when they like it. Promise. Yay! Um, raindrops. Oh, that was okay. 
I'm okay with any of them. They're all pretty cool. Uh, charm. Boop! Oh. It's key. Um, whistle? Oh, okay. Oops. Vivacious. Oh, okay. Breathe. Breathe. Ah! Crap. Destiny. Shoot! Aura. No! <laughs> Crap. Sweet. Yay! Heartbeat? Ah! Grief. Good. Wait. That's a little weird. Uh, Sunny. Oh, good, good, good. Unrestrained. Oh, crap! Whirlwind. Shoot! Special. Yes. No! Climax. Shoot! After image. Shoot! Um, warm. Okay, I don't- I think I actually got too much of the fury. Yeah. Hi again, Perry! Glad to see you didn't run away on us. Nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but I at least keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was blessed to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Perry. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it? Oh, come on! Like, she deserves any slack. I'm a lesbian. Sayori told me he didn't- Sayori told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year, too! I don't need know if you plan to just come here and hang or what. But if you don't take this seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. Ooh! Mm -hmm. Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga is literature! Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. Perry always gives it her best as long as she she's having fun. She helps me with busy work without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. Sayori, that's because your room is so messy, it's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. Is that so? <laughs> that is creepy. You two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. How come you and Perry can become good friends, too? Um. Sayori? <laughs> hmm? As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. Oh, uh, oh, Yuri even brought you something today, you know? Wait, wait, Sayori? <laughs> me? No, um, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? Never mind. Sayori made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Uh, what do I do? Eh, I'm sorry, Yuri, I wasn't thinking. I guess that mean it's a, means it's up to me to rescue the situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place, so not any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. Is is that so? Yeah, I won't make a big deal if, if you don't want it to be. Alright. Well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. This is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expect Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. That doesn't seem to be the case. Sayori and Monica are having a cheesy conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression, like she's waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. Man, it looks like no one wants to be bothered today. I slumped down into the nearest desk. How am I supposed to occupy myself with something literature-related by myself like this? I guess I could always read some of the book Yuri gave me. But I'm feeling a little too tired to read. I could probably fall asleep right now. I close my eyes and listen end up listening to Sarah's conversation with Monica. We're probably going to seem really lame compared to all the cl other clubs, though. Hmm. Well, we can't give up. The festival is our chance to show everyone what literature is all about. The problem is that the idea of literature sounds too dense and intellectual. But it's not like that yet all at all, you know? We just need a way of showing that to everyone. Something that speaks to their creative minds. Hmm. That doesn't solve the problem, though. Uh, what do you mean? Even if we come up with the most fun thing ever... Nobody will come in the first place if it's a literature event. So it's more important to figure out how to get people to show up <coughs> in the first place, you know? 
and after they come, we can do this thing to speak to their creative minds. What's this? Sayori is taking this really seriously. It's rare to hear her deliberating like this. Uh, that's a good point. In that case, do you think food will do the trick? What kind? Uh, well, I guess we could... Cupcakes! Uh, good thinking. Natsuki would love to do that. Uh, you're right. Natsuki makes the best cupcakes. That works out perfectly. That's... That wasn't why you suggested it. Cupcakes speak to my creative tummy. Cupcakes it is, then. I'm hungry. Anyway, we still need to work out the details of the event itself. I find myself smiling. In the end, Sayori is still her usual self. But therein lies the unexpected reason I admire her. Oh shoot, unlike me, who has trouble finding any motivation at all, Sayori can put her mind to things and make them to come to life. I suppose that's why I end up letting her get on my case about things. I can't help but wonder what it's like to see the world through her eyes. Ah! <laughs> I open my eyes to find Sayori's face, face filling my vision. I nearly fall out of my chair. <laughs> sorry. Wait. Actually, I'm not sorry at all. It's your fault for sleeping like that. This isn't the napping club. Does our school have a napping club? You're staying up late again, aren't you? Now that's now that you're in a club, you're going to have less time for anime, you know. You'll need to get used to it. Don't say that so loud. I glance over my shoulder to see if Monica over her. It's true, though. Yeah. I know. I know. You're always looking out for me, Sayori. <laughs> I like that kind of relationship. Like, I like when someone is like very protective and overseeing, make sure you're okay kind of relationship. It's what I do best. That's a problem. What about you? You look out for me better than you look out for yourself. You're still oversleeping every day, aren't you? Uh, not every day. That's not very convincing. How many days this past week have you gotten up on time? That's... It's a secret! I knew it. Come on! At least you give me the benefit of the doubt. I can't even do that. Look, Sarah. Oh. Well, we gotta end our episode now. Sorry, guys, but uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the save button. Boom! Okay, so I'm hitting the save button. And I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'm really having a lot of fun. And yeah, I'll see y'all later.